Hello guys, welcome back again, today we learn, how to create this. <laughs> to create this animation, first we need images or video. I use images. Now we insert, the first image, by drag and drop. Then we will create a pre-compose, by Control shift c We call it image1. Now we will insert, other three images, and pre-compose them, one by one. As you can see, now we have four pre-composed images. We select image, 1, and add CC page turn effect. If effects and presets menu, is not visible. Then go to window, and select it. Now let's add effect. In CC page turn effect we change, control to classic UI. Fold radius value means, how much of the folded page you want. If you set it to zero, your page looks like, a flat folded page. We set it to 150. Select the front and back page, in the render option. If you want to set, the back page view to another image, change it. For example, image 1, 2, 3, 4. But now we set it to none. Then we change page color. We also change opacity value to 100%. In the light direction option, you can specify how strong the light you want. We set it to negative 5 degree. Now we set the point to the default position. Then we will add fold position keyframe. We zoom out by move scroll wheel. We move forward. We press U, to view keyframes. Then select the pointer. We move it to the top left corner. Let's play the video. We select the keyframes, right click, then change to easy ease. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Now we are also on Twitter, there, we will post new updates, about the channel. All the links are below. Now we add drop shadow effect. In drop shadow effect, we change the distance value to 2-0. And softness to 4-5. Let's play the video. We move forward, approx half second. Then we copy there, both effect from first image, and paste it, to second image. We will press U, and delete both keyframes. Now in CC page turn effect, we change controls, to bottom right corner. We add fold position keyframe, then move the pointer, to the top side. Let's preview it. Now change back page view, to second image. Light direction value to, 75 degree. In drop shadow effect, change distance to 130. Softness to 180. Direction value to 180 degree. Let's play the video. I think animation is slow. We select the both keyframe. Right click then change to easy ease. We adjust the keyframes. Let's play the video now.
Now we copy there, both effect, by Ctrl C, from second image, and paste it to image 3, by Ctrl V. First we change back page view, to current image. We select both keyframe, then delete it. And create a new one. Now move forward approx 1 second. Then move the pointer, to the left side. Let's preview it. Now in CC page turn effect, we change light direction value to, negative 39 degree. In drop shadow effect, change distance to 25. Softness to 250. Opacity value to 80%. Then select the both keyframe. Right click, then change to easy ease. Let's play the animation. We will adjust the keyframes, then close the work area, by pressing N. Our today topic is complete, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel, and follow me on my Instagram account. Please don't forget to leave your feedback, your feedback is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial and be happy.